Hey folks, this is a follow-up to the iPod uh, teardown video that I posted earlier. In there, there was a hard drive. This is a 30 gig Toshiba hard drive made by Apple, for Apple, by Toshiba in Indonesia, 30 gig. And uh, I wanted to show you what's inside this because it's a tiny little hard drive. Um, it had to be a destructive teardown because there was no way I could get those pentalobe screws out. So I've already cut them. And when you pry open the can, there you have it in all its glory. Let's remove the other parts. You can see the control board here. On this side, they used a uh, regular. The outside was using pentalobes. It looks like they're using regular screws here. Let's see if I can open it. Oh, no. Am I getting it? It's uh, not budging. I think you need a smaller screwdriver for this. That one seems to be opening. Or is it? Yeah, that one's open. And let's see if I can get this one out. Okay, it's getting there. Is this going? Or not? Mm. Try again. I don't think I'm getting it. In any case, it's uh, there's the platter. I mean, it's a single platter. I don't see anything else here. There's one, looks like one head. That's it, on the outside. There isn't even anything on the inside at all. Uh, sorry, on the um, on the opposite side of this platter. There's another pentalobe screw. Uh, yeah, no, it's quite interesting technology. It looks just like a regular hard drive, only tinier. You've got your platter, you've got your single right head. Notice that it doesn't go on the opposite side of the disc, it only uses one side. I wonder if later they were able to get more capacity by using both sides of the platter. But uh, I mean, they had to make this thing ultra, ultra thin. I mean, you can see how tiny this thing is. And this is back in the day. Uh, remember, 30 gigs when flash storage was just not to the same level as it is today. I mean, you could get 128 gigs in a chip at this point. I'm not sure back then uh, whether it was just a matter of cost or not. There it says, that's the connector made by Apple, um, 2005. So again, 15 years, probably old. The actual iPod was dated for um, 2007. And they used the 2015 connector here. So, uh, sorry, 2005, and that's a 2007. So. You know, circa 2005 to 2007, somewhere between 13 to 15 years old. And there you have it. Interesting look at the past. And let me see if I can open this up more. Since it's going to be a destructive teardown anyway, I have no options here but to pry this thing open and get the goodies. Okay, so there. I ripped the board there because that screw couldn't come out. What do we have here? There's a chip. I'm not sure what that is. It says 0712 here. So it's probably 2007, 12th month of 07. And maybe a controller chip or some kind of motor controller. Here is another one. I'm not sure what that is at all. And you have a chip here. Again, no idea what that is either. It says Texas Instruments. That's the logo. And that's it, Toshiba. 
not much else on here. And then here's the bare drive. It's just some plastic. This is just the rest of that board, which we can pry off the screw. And uh, these are some, this is a flat flex that goes over to the motor, which is under here. The little, little hard drive motor spins this platter around. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. This is just a connector. I'm not sure what is it. This maybe goes to the, the head here. With this, uh, again, another flat flex kind of cable there. So there's a motor also that controls this uh, arm makes it go back and forth over the platter. Other than that, I can't really do too much. Oh, so this is not a metal platter. It is a glass platter. You see that? Glass. I have hard drives and I've opened them up before and I have done that to them. And I've never actually seen one crack because they're made of metal. This, appears to be on some kind of glass surface, which uh, I have not seen before. Very interesting. I don't know if you've ever uh, opened one of these before, and uh, if you know what this material is actually made of, but if you could leave it in the comments, please let me know. All the other hard drive platters I have are metallic, and this is definitely not it looks like quite some sharp, extremely thin layer, some kind of glass type material. But uh, yeah, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this teardown video. Again, you, you can't appreciate how tiny this thing is, but it was inside of a an iPod Classic, taking up about that much of the space, along with the battery up here. and. That's basically it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.